The capture card's still buzzing. Hopefully that changes. I, I can't tell if it's there now or not. Like, I literally cannot tell. Oh dear. Um, I just kind of realized the problem in all of this. Like, I'm having to watch this in my OBS playback because otherwise it freaks out like it just did earlier. And, shut up for a second. And, um, yeah. So, if I start dropping to like two frames, I'm gonna see this game in two frames. I just now realized the fault in all of this. Like, right now it's fluctuating at like 30. I'm kind of scared. Whatever. We'll just do it. We'll just do this. Aim high or go revengeance. Or go home. Sorry about that. I want to say it about 30, but it just can't. It doesn't know if it can. Let's begin with a quick warm-up, shall we? Check the Soliton radar on the upper right and head to the point marked on the display. You can jump over obstacles, but the ninja run will get you across them more quickly and easily. And also, I noticed that some explosions may look green. That's the capture card's fault, not mine. It's dropping frames again. This is really concerning. Like, this really is concerning. You can also attack while in motion with the ninja run, you know. Swinging your blade while dashing, for example, or striking your foes with a sliding attack. Who needs a slide? It really likes to die. It's like at 41 frames. This is concerning. It seems to be fine for the most part, but it's really concerning. Um, give me a second. Doctor. Doctor. Try and neutralize Doctor. All the enemies that appear. Do do but no, seriously, give me a second. Okay. Light and strong heaps together to perform combination attacks. Stun lock. Do you have infinite blade mode? I do. Ow. That ain't gonna help me much here. But like I said, some explosions may look green. Combat is not all offense, however. You also That's need not to my fault. Yourself. It is the capture First, card's fault. follow the direction of the enemy's attack. Parry those attacks by executing light attacks of your own in the same direction. This is how you parry. It is the keystone of your defense. Okay. Give me a second again. Everything's still loading. Whatever. Oh, right. I think I parried. Draw force in as close as possible and parry their blows to leave them exposed to counter attack. Okay. From your perspective, it will appear as if the enemy is frozen in time, or at least moving very slowly. This is the perfect opportunity for you to carefully aim your strike, then slice your foe apart. Nice. Keep in mind, even you will not be able to parry every type of attack. Watch your foe's movements carefully. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Hey, I was testing something. Green floor. See, that's not my fault. I can't prevent that. I've tried. Trust me, I have. Oh. so far in just three short years. The sign of a strong leader, sir. No. The will of a strong people. <laughs> and one very able advisor. Thank you, sir. Your team deserves credit as well. Mr. Lightning Bolt. Just doing our job, Mr. Prime Minister. I must admit, I once thought of groups like yours as opportunists, enablers of war. But you've trained our new army well. Order has returned sooner than expected. Perhaps I was wrong about these private military companies. We prefer private security providers, sir. Most of Maverick's contracts do focus on security. Yes, well, the security can mean many things. There's a saying I like. One sword keeps another in the sheath. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Sometimes by taking a life, others can be preserved. It's the code the samurai lived by. Hmm. A soldier and a philosopher. You are full of surprises, Mr. Lightning Bolt. I could say the same about you, Mr. Prime Minister. <clears throat> what is happening? Someone's blocking the lead vehicle. Hold on. Clear the road! This is official state business! Sir, a cyborg. Cool. Exit comes up unaffiliated. I'll notify all checkpoints. Get on money out of there. Yes, sir. Stay calm. He's got friends on our 12. Ryden. I'm on it. Guard the Prime Minister.
Let's get this over with. Lock on. Excellent. No, seriously, I don't block in this game because I cannot time it. I can't see. To your own supply. Oh no. Yeah, there's a reason why I mute my mic during cutscenes. Not only is it to be like polite, so that way everyone can listen to the cutscene as they please, but also so you don't have to listen to my controller rumbling in the background. Seriously, Rumble Pack goes crazy in this. Crazier than this. I think he was dead. Just had to check. Right, it's on the other side of that barricade. Okay, Boris. Just a second. I'm cutting up people. Yeah, I cannot time my blocks in this. Like, it's a two-button process. You have to have better timing than just, oh, hey, I'm just gonna block now. No, this ain't no Dark Souls or some game with one-button blocking. You have two-button blocking. Oh, jeez. Now see, later on in the game I have to be careful about where I cut, but for now, I can just go crazy, and it's fun. Rules of nature. Speaking of rules, eh. 